trigger warning. This is about Kiwis and the underage girl. And this did not age well at all. Um, uh, we, we met, met when I was 17. She was, she claimed she was 14. Um, but I guess she lied, apparently. She must have been 13. Y'all, you influencers, y'all better start checking IDs. You better start checking IDs and driver's license before you send and receive anything. I don't know why you ain't learned this yet. Why have YouTubers and celebrities not learned? Check someone's ID. Do a background check. There are so many things. You have, you've made all this money off being on the internet. Why would you not do a background check before sending, receiving, talking, anything? Don't make an underage minor a moderator on your channel. Don't be having conversations with them. Don't be initiating sexual conversations with people that you don't know their age. Well, she told me she was 14. You didn't check her ID. You didn't know. Therefore, you should not be talking to her. No matter how old you are. 13 at the time. Can you clarify? A year and a half ago. Was she 13? Well, a year and a half ago, she probably would have been 12, 12 and a half. It, she, she, would, she, she said she was, she was 14. 14 when I, when I, when I, the best thing he could have done was zip it because he's digging his fucking hole deep. Deeper and deeper. He's got the Mac Daddy of fucking shovels out and he's digging the damn hole. Shut the dude. You you have incriminated yourself. When, when I, I talked to, talk to her. her. Okay. Oh, you, must you must be wrong, wrong then. then. Yeah, yeah she's, she's 14, 14 now. now. No, no yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand that. that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, saying like, like when, when we, we first, first talked, talked, I said I was 17, and she said she was 14. And, and it was nothing but friendly conversation for the first, like, four months. months. We, were we were just kind of like, hey, what's up? How are you? What's good? And she said that she watched my videos, and I said that's awesome, and I appreciate the support. And, you know, that's awesome. So, um, time went on, and, you know, she would message me a lot, and I just want to communicate with her as much. Um... And, and one, one day, day she messaged, messaged me. me. She, she said she really wanted, wanted to talk. talk. She, she said she was having, having issues, and I, I felt bad because I was ignored her. So I said, "Hey, how, how are you? What's, what's up?" And, and we talked. She, she said she was having personal issues, and, and we just talked for a while. And you know, one thing led to another. She started complimenting me. I complimented her. You know, it's it a year and a half ago. She would have been twelve. Okay, okay, well, well I, was I was just, I don't know, uh, I was 17, 17 and she, she said she was 14. 14. Like, like, if you guys, guys can look back in the kick messages, messages like, like, I hear you have police involved, like, you guys yeah, will yeah, be able to see. Well, let's, let's get to that, that part. part. Um, in the video okay. that you uploaded today, uh, uh, Mother of the Alleged Victim, victim you, you said, said that um, you've contacted the police. Is there a police report? What's What exactly is going on with this? There is. We filed a report, and they're actually... They're, They're contacting, contacting Homeland, Homeland Security, Security to, to look, look into, into to, to see, see what they'd be able, able to, to charge. So I wonder if anything happened because it's 2021 and this was to March 27th of 2016. Hemweth, Hemweth we, we come, come from, from a small, small town. town. And, um, and they're, they're looking, looking into, into it. it. Let's, Let's put, put it, it that, that way. way. That's, That's what, what they, they said. said. And, and with it, I know all about that small town police shit. And nothing ever happens. Small, like where I used to live at, small town police department. They wouldn't even take fingerprints if you got robbed. Like they had no, they were not updated. Is what I'm saying. They had no way to actually investigate a case properly. They're stuck in like the 1960s. With, with it being Easter, Easter week. Now, Kiwi, this all sounds like really serious. serious. Like, uh -huh. what, are what are you thinking? thinking? Like, like, I mean, um, are, are you I, sorry? I really, you... No, I'll, 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 am, I am I sorry? Is that you said? Yeah. yeah. Oh, of, of course, course I'm sorry. sorry. Like, like, obviously, like, like this, this is something. If Jericho, if Jericho would have expressed that she was very uncomfortable, and she, she that, that, I watched the video, you said, that she didn't, she felt guilty, she felt like she didn't want to, she never, like, explained that to me, and I, I, I would never, like, make somebody do something they didn't want to do, I even told her that, and, um, 
like, like when, when the first, first time, time it happened, happened when, when we, we were getting, getting a little bit more flirty with each, with each other, other whatever. <clears throat> the first, he says by the first, when the first time it happened, dude, when you say that, you're implying that another time happened. Oh my gosh. He better get a lawyer and shut up or just keep talking and incriminate yourself. Either way, I don't care. But when someone says the first time this happened, that implies it happened more than one time. And they're talking about the very first time. So, yeah, that basically tells me that he's done this and he probably that he's done it more than one time with this particular girl. But he's probably got other victims out here, too. I can probably assure you. I, I mean, it's allegations, but you can about you can about bet your last dollar on it. Um, um, she, she did, did send, send me pictures, pictures but um, she, she asked me to send, send her pictures, and I told her I felt really uncomfortable because, you know, of, of who I am and just everything. I, I felt really uncomfortable doing that, and she said that, I, that she could trust me, um, or, or I, I could trust her, and that nothing would happen, and um, uh, I, I believed I could trust her. Okay, so a guy walks up to you and has a knife in his hand, and he says, hey, you know, we've never met in person. But you can trust me, I won't cut you or steal your wallet. You're going to stand there and trust him, right? No, you're not. This dude is so full of crap. I can smell him underwater. It's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. It's so ridiculous. Well, she said she was 14 and that I could trust her. And his excuses are just so lame. It's like, it's just ridiculous. I mean... This stuff is just so annoying. These platform, these platforms have got to get stricter rules, and the laws have to be more strict. The, all they're getting is a slap on the hand when they do this stuff. Well, they never met in person. She still sent pictures of her body to a a man, a boy, a man, whatever. He accepted them. He sent pictures back to a child who was twelve years old. That is illegal. At 17, 18, whatever he was, you can't do that with a 12-year-old. <laughs> so, it, 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 it was a mistake being a teenager. Being a teenager. It's, it's kind of like, like a heat of the moment. moment. I, everybody makes mistakes. mistakes and, and, I, I, I do. and I understand that, too. You know, if he was 17. But my issue is, influencers, they've got to start checking IDs. I mean, I know I was cutting up about that earlier, but I mean, I'm being serious. They need to start checking IDs. That would be the safest way to make sure you're dealing with an adult. I don't send anyone anything like that. If somebody, you know, I have people that comment on my posts and stuff, and I have people that direct message me on Twitter, and yeah, I'll answer them back, but it's not like that. And it will never be like that. Uh-uh. This could be... You know, somebody catfishing you. Why would you just trust? And and still, oh my gosh. And that's another thing. He says, well, she says that I can trust her and that's why I did it. You sh That doesn't make it any better at all. That's another reason. So it's okay because she said you could trust her. It's okay for you to send uh, dick pics to little kids. Well, she said I could trust her and she wouldn't tell nobody. That makes it even more wrong, partner. Like, that doesn't make it better. Anyways, what are your thoughts about this? What has changed with the case? I haven't heard any updates about it. If you know anything, leave it in the comments.